welcome back to our video series for SAP Analytics Cloud BI trial version. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare and enhance data using the modeler. In SAP Analytics Cloud for BI, data models are the foundation for data exploration. They allow you to clean and prepare data. Once you've imported your data, you can define measures and dimensions, create calculations, set up relationships based on hierarchies, or geo-enrich your data. Let's see how to leverage some of those functionalities. In the last video, we created a data model. So let's use that model to do some data preparation and data enhancements. On the home page, go to the main menu and select Browse. Then click on Models and select the following one. This is what your model looks like. Now, before you start doing any data enhancement, you'll need to prepare the data. So I recommend that you prepare your data right after uploading your data set and before creating the model. But for this example, we're going to do it the other way around as we already have created the model. Let's navigate to the top menu and click on the tools icon to rebuild the model functionality. The system is giving a warning that if you rebuild the model, the changes made previously on this model will be discarded. Just click OK. This brings you back to the table view mode where you can start preparing your data. If you click on the card view mode icon, you'll get an overview of your data set. Now this is probably the easiest way to navigate a data set with a lot of columns. Each card represents a data column with the information it contains. Selecting a specific card will display the information contained in that specific column on the right pane and it can be very useful to spot errors in your data. SAP Analytics Cloud can recognize measures and dimensions automatically but it's always recommended to double check. So let's verify if all the measures and dimensions have been assigned correctly. Now we'll see in this example, if we check the number of issues reported, it's categorized as a dimension, but it's actually a measure. To correct it, just select the card, go to the details panel, click on the type and select measure. This will change the category. If you want to change the name of the column, it can be done here as well. Now let's go back to our table view mode and create some hierarchies. This will allow you to easily navigate in your data. Start by selecting the columns product lines and categories. You'll notice that in our data, the product lines contains the categories of products. Select the column to which you would like to add the attribute. On the pane at the right, you can click on the attribute add a dimension, and select the column you want to leverage. SAP Analytics Cloud BI now verifies the data quality for the actions you want to take and indicates that there are duplicate ID members. This means that there's a category item assigned to a different line, so you'll need to make a change. You can see that the category hats, gloves, and scarves has been assigned to outerwear instead of accessories. Just select one of the cells you want to update and use the Smart Transformation functionality. It will suggest some correction options. Additionally, you can insert your own content or even delete the cells. After this is completed, a formula will be applied to make the requested changes. Now it will always replace outerwear with accessories when the category is hats, gloves, and scarves. Now that you've prepared your data set, Let's validate the data and click on the Rebuild Model button. Once in the modeler, all the columns of your data set are listed on the menu bar. First, there's the time dimension. This shows the time frame imported with your data set. If desired, you can extend it to create forecast in your stories. Next to it, we have the Account tab, which contains all the measures. You can check your preferences by clicking on the icon you'll see that the default currency is US dollars, so you can leave it as is for this example. On the Units and Currency columns, you can add labels to specify units. For example, currencies or units. You can also add a calculated formula and create a new measure. To do so, you can use a formula bar or leverage the Advanced Formula Editor. The Formula Editor offers three types, functions, conditions, and operations. So let's go ahead and create one. For this example, you're going to enter sales revenue minus discount as the formula to use to determine the revenue after discount. Now you'll have a new measure called revenue after discount. 
For more information about formulas in SAP Analytics Cloud BI, just visit the Help Library. While preparing our data, we created new hierarchies. Now you can view these hierarchies in your model and make any necessary adjustments. You can further customize your hierarchies with a drag and drop capability. You could, for example, move fancy fabric from leather to dresses. Now this model is ready and available for you to use in your story. Stay tuned for the next video that will be about data visualization. Thanks for watching.